Hi guys, I'm back. It's me again. I know it's been a while and I'm so sorry I haven't uh, uploaded a video in a while. But as some of you may remember from one of my previous videos, I've been chop hunting, chop searching for quite some time now and I finally have a chop. I have a chop that I will start the summer and I will move across the country for this chop. So I will talk a little bit more about it in one of my upcoming videos, I definitely want to document my move across the states. So it's 2,000 miles away, so it's going to be a big one, a big move. Um, but I wanted to do a video. Um, I'll do more videos now that I have a job. And um, yeah, I promise to become a little bit more consistent again. So let me get started with today's video. Um, it's, a, it's an empties video. I haven't done one of those in a really long time. And the reason for that was that I just haven't had many empties lately. So um, I haven't finished uh, up a lot of products. But now, as you can see, my entire box is full. I've never had this many empties. It's overflowing. And I just finished most of, well, not most, but many of these products I finished in the last week or two. So I figured, yeah, let's do an empties video. I just won't call it um, a monthly empty. It, let's just say it's a winter empty video. So these are all the products I finished in the last two to three months. So um, without further ado, I'm going to get started. So I have in this box, I have um, hair care products, skincare products, body products, even some makeup products, which is very rare for me because it takes me forever to finish makeup. But I will just dive in in no particular order. I'll pull these out and I will talk about them and give you a mini review. First one is a body wash by Dove. Dove. So very moisturizing. Um, it does not have um, parabens and sulfate. So sulfate and paraben free. It's very gentle. It has like a little, um, just a very subtle rose oil scent but it's not um not it not intense it's just subtle it's very creamy very soft on the skin it cleanses well i did i did like this very much so um yeah this is a very good cleanser it's plant-based plant-based moisturizer um moisturizing cleanser so uh, yeah i use this in my shower and um i might buy this again so i thought this was a very nice product the next one is also a body product and it's from Hems, age defying herbal body moisturizer. So it's also a uh, very um, natural enriched with 100% pure natural hemp seed oil. It's very hydrating. It has a, a an interesting smell to it, but um, not unpleasant. It says back on here that it uh, it helps replenish and lock in moisture, enhances skin, natural protective barrier. It's non-greasy, which is true. Um, it's very fast absorbing, which is true as well. And gluten-free, paraben-free, 100% vegan. And um, yeah, so this was a very nice moisturizer as well. I really enjoyed this. I might be buying this again as well. I don't really have any flops, I don't think. I think they were all, well, one. I have. I think I have one that I wasn't so happy with. Next, let's move on to a dry shampoo from Batiste. And this is the, the one in um, the Coconut Exotic Tropical. So, yeah, I, so let me tell you how I use this and when I use this. So, uh, I know a lot of people have problems with dry shampoos because they sometimes leave this white film, this white residue on your hair, which doesn't look pleasant, especially not if you have dark hair like me. But um, I only wash my hair every other day. So on the days when I don't wash my hair, I will use the dry shampoo. And the way you've got to do it, you just have to shake it and then hold it at least a foot away. There's nothing in here, it's just air now. But you gotta make sure you don't get too close. And if you hold it far enough away, um, it will, will not leave the white the white cover on your hair. Um, so this is, uh, yeah, very nice. You can use it every day if you want to. It makes your hair look clean and gives it a, a fresh scent. Um, so this is um, very nice. Can't complain. 
So the next one is also a hair product. I actually have a lot of hair products today. And this is the Heat Heat Tamer, protects against heat damage from Tresemme. So I would spritz this on my hair before blow drying. It's a leave-in spray. Um, you can also use it with uh, heat appliances. So if you wanna um, straighten your hair, but I always used it uh, before I blow dry my hair. So this lasted forever. Um, it says it's heat protective up to 450 degrees. So this was very nice too. Mm, I can't really say anything negative about it. I don't really know if it did a good job at protecting my hair. You know, my, my ends are always a little bit frizzy, but I don't really think this comes from, from heat heat tools because I very rarely use heat heat tools like a flat iron or a curling iron. Um, sometimes I do, but it's rare. And like I said, I only wash my hair every other day and then I only blow dry it for five to six minutes. So I, I think I'm very gentle on my hair heat wise, but since I color, do a lot of coloring, it, it is a little damaged. So I'm not, I wasn't unhappy with it. I think it did an adequate job, but did it improve my hair? No, um, but I think it's okay. Can't complain. It's very inexpensive and it lasts forever. There is uh, eight ounces in here. More hair products. So I have the products, the, sh the shampoo and the conditioner from Olaplex. And if you have been watching my videos for a while, you know that I'm that I'm a big fan of Olaplex. They have other products as well, like um, a pre pre wash. Um, what what's it called? Like the what you spritz on your hair, let it let it work in, and then you wash your hair. I, I can't th remember the name of it. It's the number zero, I believe. These are number four and number five. And um, this definitely um, strengthens your hair a little bit, nourishes it well. My, my hair always looks very, um, what's the right word? Uh, well taken care of um, when I use this, especially with the number zero, but I, I ran out of that a while ago and I never repurchased it. I think I should, but I'm waiting for, for the Sephora sale to come up and then I will we'll, um, buy more Olaplex products. So these are very nice, uh, the shampoo and the conditioner. Very nice products, can highly recommend. Um, what else we got here? Do I have another? So I have another body, I have lots of body products. So I finished this over the Christmas season. It was a body lotion. It's actually from last year, from the Christmas before last. Um, I've had this for a while, it's Vanilla Bean Noel. Uh, 24 hour moisturizer, moisture body lotion with shea butter and vitamin E. Um, it had a very, very nice smell, very strong smell. If you're sensitive to smell, it's probably not a good one, but it's a, like a, a Christmas scent. Um, it was really nice during the Christmas season, but um, like I said, it's it's a seasonal product. I don't even think they sell it right now, but I enjoyed using that as well. Um, then, okay, I have more than one flop. I actually have two. I think I'm gonna save the flops for last. So let me put those away. Mm -hmm. So let me move on to the charcoal deodorant, natural aluminum free, uh, great expectations, grapefruit bergamot. So yeah, what can I say? So it says our award-winning natural formula contains activated charcoal and magnesium clay to eliminate odor all day while nourishing your body. So um, yes, it's it's a little hard to apply because it's not it's it's kind of a um, a very solid stick like a, it doesn't really melt on the skin. So it's you have to rub really hard under your arms, but it did um, it did keep me odor free all day. I'm not a particular. Uh, I'm not particularly a big fan of the scent. I've I've had better. I actually, to be honest, I like the gel. Um, the gel type. What's it from? I don't know. Suaves. What's what's that brand called? I don't know right now. But I do like gel um, deodorizers much better than this hard stick. So I used it. I almost used it up. There's a little bit left, but I decided no. I'm gonna toss it now. I used this for several months and. It's okay. Not my favorite product though this, this time around. Okay, now I have a hand cream which I loved. It's from Parody Professional Care Daily Moisturizing Hand Cream 
for normal to dry hands. So this is very nice. This really uh, softens and moisturizes your hands when you have dry hands in the winter. You know, um, I tend to have um, drier hands, so I normally don't have a problem with dry skin, especially not my hands. I very sweaty in the summer because I live in a humid climate. But in winter, my hands get pretty dry, especially on the back of my hand. So I, I use this a lot and it was really, really nice. It really kept my hand moisturized for almost a full day. So this is, I think, fragrance free. I didn't smell anything. Um, it was really nice. Yeah, definitely. I can highly recommend this as well. Then the next thing I have is, what else we got? What else we got? So I think I've talked about this before from Matt Maskey. It says this is an after mask vitamin serum, pH balanced, extra smoothing, anti-aging, feeding, protecting, nourishing. So I got this in one of my BoxyCharms last year. As you may remember, I used to be a subscriber of BoxyCharm. Not anymore. I quit for a while. I may do it again in the future but not right now. So what I use this for is, I use this after my microneedling treatment. So if you're into, you know I have this device that I use for micro microneedling and um, I've done several videos on that procedure before, so I can link them up here in the corner or also put the link down in the description box. So I, this really helped my skin calm down after that those treatments and I really enjoyed it, you know, for that. So yeah, it was very, very pleasant. And um, I will try to find this again somewhere on Amazon or elsewhere. And by the way, I will list all the products I can find down in the description box below. So um, if you're interested in looking up more information or maybe you, you wanna try one of these, you can very, very easily, very easily follow, um, find, you can very easily find them by clicking on one of the links down in the description box. Next comes, Okay, so I had this mask. This is a pore purifying mask, pores no more, called Vacuum Cleaner by Dr. Brennan. It's very dirty. Yeah, so this worked really well, I must say. Um, you kind of apply this. It's like a gel, a clear gel-like substance that you apply to your skin. Then it really dries up on your skin, which means it will tighten your skin a little bit, which makes your pores appear smaller. And of course, you wash it off and um, the, the pores no more effect will last for a few hours, um, maybe half a day or so. So yeah, I really enjoyed this. Um, I like the name vacuum cleaner, but it I, it doesn't really clean, up, you know, it doesn't vacuum out your your dirt from your pores. But it does it does work um, for um, reducing the appearance of your pores. So that is really nice. Then I um, also finished one of my Neutrogena products. So as you know, last summer I ordered the entire line of Rapid Wrinkle Repair. This is the retinol oil that I applied every evening before my night cream. So I did enjoy this very much as well. I liked all of the products in that line. And in fact, I did a whole video um, on those products. I review all of them. So if you're interested in seeing that, I can link that up here as well. So this, this was really nice, loved it. It makes you, um, it gives you, it moisturizes. It has retinol in it, so it's anti-aging. So this, this was really nice. Um, what else do we have? So, yeah, then I have um, this hair growth serum from Hairgenics Pronexa. Looks like this. And it says that it encourages scalp stimulation and reactivates hair follicles to promote thicker hair growth. Hmm. Well, I've used this in the past and I... When I first used it, when I used it for the first time, I really thought it really got my, my hair growth kickstart. It was a good kickstart to my hair growth. Because as I've mentioned before, I have vibrosing, frontal vibrosing alopecia. As you can see, I'm having some hair growth here. But I do so many things to, you know, desperately try to grow a little bit of hair back. It's, it's not easy with this condition because it's... Um, you got a scarring of your health, hair follicles, and, and then of course um, you won't have any uh, growing hair growing back on those scarred hair follicles. But um, I, I thought um, 
when I first tried it, that it did a good job, but not this time I wasn't so impressed. But again, I do so many other things that it's at this point, it's hard for me to tell what actually works and what doesn't because um, I also get um, products from the dermatologist. I use um, uh, all kinds of things, all really all kinds of creams and serums and um, vitamins that I eat. So it's, if you know of anything that has helped to grow your hair back, please comment down below. I'm always looking for something. Then, oh, I love this mascara. So this is one of my makeup products I have. Last summer, I also did a video on a drugstore makeup look or a drugstore starter kit. And I didn't have a drugstore mascara. So I just randomly picked something. I had no idea what drugstore mascara was gonna be good. So I just picked one of the cheapest ones, not kidding you, just to try it out. So I found this by Essence. It's called Big Lashes, Get Big Lashes in Triple Black. It's this purple tube. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. You would never think that you get such great mascara. You see this wand? I love this wand. It, Really, it never, it wasn't clumpy. It didn't give me those spider lash look that I sometimes get when using mascara. So it's a pretty dry formula. It separates your lashes. It's very lengthening. I'm not kidding you. I was really blown away by this. So it's really an amazing formula. It's an amazing brush. Only downside, I think, is um, that it dried out pretty quickly. I only had it for about two months and then maybe three, two, two months. Um, then it was dried out, so I had to toss it. And um, But it's very inexpensive. I don't even remember how much it was, four or five bucks or something. So for that price, you really can't go wrong. I absolutely love the brush on, on this wand. It's, it, it, it's great. I mean, really. Another thing, another product that dried out on me was this... Um, eyebrow pencil from Revlon. All my products, everything's so dirty in here. So this eyebrow pencil from Revlon. So it has a spoolie on one end, which I bent a little bit, so it's easier to brush. And then it had um, a pencil. Yeah, it's actually, it's, uh, yeah, I think it broke off too, but it also dried out, dried out, dried out, broke off. And yeah, so I tossed it. Um, can't really say that I was too impressed. Um, it wasn't terrible. As long as it was new, it was fine. But then it really, it dried out and it, I, it just didn't work anymore. So I had to toss this. Then I decided to replace my um, beauty sponges with one that I, I'm gonna show you maybe next time. Um, but I have just a big one and a little one for my concealer. Um, and I buy these from Amazon. They come in like a five pack or something really inexpensive. So I think it's a good price. So I every now and now now and then I toss them and I replace them. But of course you can clean them. I know they're very dirty. But you know what I found what cleans beauty sponges very well is dish soap. Seriously, not kidding. You don't even need any expensive um, brush cleaner or cleanser. You just use soap, you know, dish soap. You put it on here and just rinse it out under the running water and it gets totally clean. So this is probably where, so, I mean, this is still good, but I could still use it, but I bought a new one. I bought one by um, a flower one, which I don't have right now, but it's in this box. I will show it to you in my next empties video, but I bought it, I tried to buy a different shape. So. Those are, so let's get to the to the products that kind of flopped. First, I had um, this, the Froze Higher Activated Lip Scrub. So it looks like this. So this is supposed to be, it said, blessed to inspire the gift of forgiveness. It's supposed to give you um, rub off the, the dead the dead um, skin from your lips and give you soft lips. So basically what this was like is, well, let me start with the pleasant thing. It tastes good, but you know, don't buy this because you want to eat it. It's just a plus that if you get it in your mouth, it's not going to make you gag. It's actually tastes really pleasant. Like um, 
sugar with strawberry flavor. And that's basically what this is. It's just little tiny little um, moist sugar um, pieces that you rub on your lips and you rub off the dead skin. But the problem is, since it's all loose sugar pieces, it just gets all over your face. It's really hard to keep it on your lips. So it kind of falls off. You get it all around your mouth or you just, it, it's a messy, it's it, incredibly messy. So I didn't enjoy this too much because it was a loose product. Um, I had um, one, a product similar to this. I, I want to say it was from e.l.f. I don't, I think so, but it was a stick. It was on a stick and it was more solid. So you can just wrap the stick back and forth on your lips and exfoliate your lips. And I li really like that better because it didn't fall off right away. So this, the loose product is a problem when you try to use it in, as an exfoliator. And it came in this cute little box, so I thought that was nice, so. But I will definitely not buy that again. It did keep my lips moist though, I must say, for a while. Then I had this bamboo body polish. So I used this after my shower and kind of just uh, polished my, my skin. Um, it's also vegan, paraben free, sulfate free. It, um, you know, it's not, it was okay, but again, they're like sugar scrubs out there or salt scrubs out there that I think are better, that where you get more for your money. This is just a tiny little tub. Um, four ounces so you don't go you don't get very far with this tiny little top so i think there's better products out there um it wasn't terrible but also not my favorite and now i'm gonna get to a product i really did not like and you've seen me unbox this in one of my unboxing um of my boxy charm subscription last year and it's called unicorn dreams whipped body body butter okay so this looked really pretty when it came in this glass container because it was different colors like green, blue, red, yellow. It was all swirled together and it looked really cute. So I was very excited about trying this and finding out how this works. So it's supposed to be a body butter that's supposed to be moisturizing and things like that. But it was a very hard, a very solid body butter. It wasn't soft, it wasn't creamy, it wasn't smooth, it didn't melt on your skin. You kind of had to rub it in really hard. Eventually it melted, but it was not at all what I expected. It's just kind of, when you dug your fingers in, it was these clumps that I got out and then I just tried to rub it on my skin really hard, but it wasn't at all. Like, it's not what I would expect from a product that is called um, body butter, right? from um, whipped body butter, especially whipped, where you would think, you know, whipped is soft and fluffy and, you know, cloud, this cloudy thing, you know, that like soft light, air light, you know, you know what I mean, right? But this product wasn't like that at all. So not a fan of this product. So this for me was another fail or a flop. But overall, I was very pleased with some of the products. Some of them I had used before. Some of them were new products I tried for the first time. I found a few things that I want to keep using. And I also had a couple of flops, but that's not too bad. So overall, I had a lot of products. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. I promise I won't keep you waiting as long again. And um, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you will have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon. Bye.